Hello everyone, we're back with another episode of The Sentient. We're gonna pick up where we left off. We had just uh, just gotten back, we went back to the Ark and we redesigned our ship. We swapped around, made the uh, eatery, made the food, the cafeteria a bit larger. We don't, we do have ex experience, we do have uh, research left. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock Galactic Communications. I don't know how that'll work out, but we're going to go ahead and see. Alright, now where are we going to head? We went up, we went... Do we want to head two out? Uh, I don't know if there's different events or not. Depending on how far out we go. So you know what, yeah, let's travel on out. Let's unpause it. And we're going to go ahead and see if there are more events or different events if we go out further. I don't know if there is or not. But yeah, I'm a little excited to be back to this. I, more or less, I yesterday I just finished up recording uh recording Battle Brothers. That's always a fun. Uh, that's always at least one of the games that I really look forward to playing. So this one, this one's pretty good as well. Pirate ship quickly opens communications upon arrival. Human life is a great commodity out here. Send us one of your crew, and you can keep your lives. Uh. Hmm. So, back when I first started playing this, I tried attacking a pirate ship, and they destroyed me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I mean, it's it's early, and the ships don't necessarily matter, so we're gonna say none of my crew will become a slave. Pirates begin to laugh and open fire after the denial of handing over a crew member. Battle stations. Okay, let's pause it. Everyone should be... Yeah, because they just have so much. 910 hull, 650 shields. And we don't have any weapon power stored up. I was not aware of that. I was not aware of that at all. Um, okay, well, we're going to start opening fire, and these guys better start booking it. They really need to start booking it. Because we desperately need... We don't even have enough... How much shield power do we have? We have 92 shield power now. Okay, that's right, I can watch this right down here. So, I think we might very well be pretty well and uh, completely and utterly screwed here. Because I don't think we're going to have enough... Okay, shield boost. Can you get in there and start working that? No, you're not going to. Go to the bathroom, now get in there and start working those. Alright. Yep, shields are dropping down. It's not looking good. We have yet to break through their shields at all. Can we boost shields again? Boost shields? We're going to boost our shields as much as we possibly can. But we're pretty... Yep, they're through our shields. We're still nowhere near through theirs. Let's kick up evasive maneuvers for a little bit. Boost shields again. And we're just going to try to store up some power. Yep, just keep boosting shields. Alright. I don't know how long that lasts. 50% target penalty. So I'm wondering if we had made a laser, if we'd be doing better now. If we'd... Yeah, we're just... We're... Level up and level up. Alright, sure. Let's boost your consoles up. Let's boost your... I don't know if consoles is that, or services. I don't remember what it said those things do. But alright, unpause it. And we're... Pretty much we are losing. Ship's down to half hull. Their ship still has not even broken through, uh... Can we activate that again? No. Alright, we're about to break through their... Almost was through their shields, but now our weapons were unable to keep the energy up, the energy power, weapon energy power up high enough to crack through their shields. They're just they're re regening their shields faster than we can break them, which is kind of what I feared would happen. How do we get their shields down so low? Do we just have that much stored up, or... That much energy, weapon energy stored up that we were able to fire quick enough to break through. 
I don't know. Do not know, but it seems like this is pretty much this is a rather long and drawn out fight for something that we are going to lose pretty much as soon as they shoot one more time, which is right about now. There it is. First loss of a ship. A reboot. Although the crew you chose has been lost, our fail-safes have been activated at the Ark. Due to the limitations, we are unable to send back any research. Yep, more ships will be sent to the sector to investigate, as I have deemed it too dangerous at this time. Eight crew members, KIA. Alright, reboot the system. We're going to use previous layout. We'll confirm. So yeah, we lost everybody. Alright, well let's go to recruitment. We're going to go ahead and... We need... How many did we have? We had what? How many? We have eight, so we probably had five? Yeah, we had five. Two, three, five. And then we had three of these guys. Okay. Do we have to reset the schedule? We do. Well, that is unfortunate, but I suppose... It is what it is. So flight console there. We'll make you flight consoles there. No, 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 no. We'll make you weapon system and flight console. You'll be weapon system there. You'll be flight system. Shields, weapons, and shields. Okay, it's your flight there. And you will be flight there. And then you'll be shield here. And you'll be shields there and there? No, there and there. Yeah, I wish it would save. Click crew button to change work shift. I wish it, I, know, I wish it would save how you had your men outlined before. Because having to redo it every time. I mean, it, it's pretty much that's the only way they could do it, I feel like. Because otherwise, make sure everyone's got two, two, and two free times. Because otherwise, I mean, it just, it wouldn't, I don't think it would, uh, I don't think it would, what am I trying to say? I don't think it would translate too well to just carry the schedule over. I mean, I guess maybe if you had the exact same amount of people, but then if you ever recruited more people, then you would be, uh, unable to do unable to, you know, if you ever got more people or less people, then you wouldn't be able to... I just, I can't say what I'm trying to say. What I want to say. You wouldn't be able to easily transfer it over. Like, you know, if you had more people, then you still have to go through and you have to reassign it. If you had less people, then, I don't know, less people, it probably wouldn't even be able to really apply it. All right, we'll fast forward. So apparently two sectors out may be too dangerous. At least too dangerous for a scout ship, unless we just had bad draw there. Ooh, an alien life form appears on screen. The ship interior barrier is barely held together. A sound reminiscent of moaning can be heard from the life form. It appears to be awaiting a response. Upgrade galactic communications for more details. Uh, provide some supplies to help. 25 supplies? Sure. The alien appears to accept the supplies and begins to leave. What? I didn't get anything for that, you son of a gun. Alright, we're traveling there. We're gonna kick on the autopilot just in case. And fast forwarding. Fast forwarding to the next spot. Good stuff. Ah, I want that up. How is our. Ooh, faint sounds can be heard from what appears. I was gonna say, what is our energy looking at? Faint sounds can be heard from what appears to be a disabled vessel off in the distance. The ship appears to have a great deal of structural damage. Yep, aim the weapons and begin hailing it. Ship appears to spring immediately in action as soon as it is within firing range, and its weapons appear to begin firing. So how was our 76 and 72? Not good at all. Alright. You guys better start booking it. Why are you booking it there? I don't know. Well, good news is the ship was already pretty well injured. So, yeah, we don't have enough weapon energy to fire. Yeah, good news is this ship was pretty weak to start with. As the crew checks the wreckage, certain pieces of the ship appear to be salvageable. Good stuff. And in fact, you know what, you guys, no. You're all going to be sticking there, working. You're all going to be working those, because we need the ship energy. We need all the energy to get 
up to maximum if possible. Especially if we get into more combat. We at least need to have our shield power maxed up. And then one of you... what, What is happening here? What are you doing there, dude? You're trying to moonwalk? Unsuccessfully? What are you, what's happening? You're wandering the ship. You're not wandering the ship, you're moonwalking. Alright, well we'll fast forward. We'll see what's gonna happen. It just it takes so long. I wonder if... I don't know if it was patched or not. Let's go ahead and let's turn on the scheduled brakes and see if it works now. See if the brakes work or if they keep getting stuck in the loop. I don't know why that person took off. Okay, he's taking a break. And he's looping. And he's taking a break. And he's looping. Okay, so unfortunately, scheduled crew breaks does not work still. I mean, I kind of... I figured it probably wouldn't have been fixed quite yet. And then what is... Do we only have one? Yeah, we do. We only have one toilet. I wonder if toilets are going to be the backup now. Because before it was the food. It's never been the beds. Never been the beds, never been sleeping needs. It's required. It was all... Was the food. What's everyone's uh, needs looking like? Bladder. Bladders. Hunger. Yeah. Well, the good news is their shifts should be over shortly. I believe. Free time. I'm supposed to be on free time. What do you need? You need hunger. Go go eat then. And you, what is your shift? You're still supposed to be weapon systems, but you need hunger as well. I think we'll probably be fine. You guys can all go eat. Hopefully. I'm sorry, what? Okay. And you guys are wandering the ship supposedly, but you need to eat as well. Upon arrival, pirate ship immediately hails the ship. No need for any trouble. Take these supplies and act like you never saw us. Well, we just lost to a pirate ship, so yes, I'm going to gather the supplies. And we lost 25 to the freaking alien that, you know, just took our supplies and ran with it. You need to eat. I wonder if you were waiting for spots to clear out? It's a possibility. <laughs> So yeah, toilets. No food is killing you? Then go eat food. I say there should be no reason why you aren't fulfilling your needs. Okay, Milford. Milford, is that you? Yes, go use the bathroom. I don't want you pissing all over the consoles. Don't want you to pee your pants around all the very, I'm assuming, expensive and very, again, assuming, complicated electronical equipment. Probably would not end well. He needs fun. Amy needs a blonde. Blonde. Needs bladder. Okay, go to the bathroom. I don't know why. I really wish... I wish this gets fixed. Hopefully it will in the next patch or so. Okay, Dion. Older gentleman, Dion. Yep, bathroom. You're gonna wait for it, apparently. Nope, go to the bathroom. And then you can eat your food. Because right now, you're on free time. You'll be on free time next as well. Alright. Autopilot is engaged, so we're moving. Not moving very fast, but... Again, I mean... This is... And this is the faster speed. I know I harp on it quite a bit. But I still do not enjoy how long it takes to travel between the areas. I mean, yeah, there's there's more important things on the menu, I'm sure, before they, if the developers ever address it. Might just be how they want the game to play. Might be the vision they had for the game is for it to take longer to travel, more time where you have to micromanage, things of that sort. I don't know. But sure, I wonder when you unlock new vessels as well. Is there just a certain amount of research you have to do? Or what? Heavily damaged scout ship begins activating its weapon systems. Well, prepare for combat. 
continues to attack despite our weapon systems coming online. Alright, I'm fine with that. Start blasting it. it. Certainly seems like we're gonna win this one pretty easily. I mean, our shields are good, weapon energy is okay. Shield just took a hit. That's because no one was really at the things either. No one was at there at the consoles. Yep, this crew won that pretty easily. As the crew checks the wreckage, certain pieces of the ship appear to be salvageable. Continue. Alright. Now. Okay, so they're back working. That's fine. We'll travel to the last spot six minutes away. Yeah, so I mean, it's. Oop, you leveled up. You leveled up. Repairs are consoles. I don't know if consoles boosts that up for them or not, but I guess I'll do... And like, services? What is services? I don't think it tells you anywhere outside of that tutorial that we did. So maybe I'll have to load up the tutorial again, look through it, or try to find out myself somehow what exactly all of these relate to. Because if, like, the console skill gives them boosts to that, where they start... boosts to that where they start, uh giving extra shield or weapon energy, then I'd want to go with that. But I don't know if that's how it works or not. Alright, so this episode, I think we're gonna, once we clear out this sector, we're gonna try for one more, because we have two points of research, and I don't know what we need to upgrade I don't know what we need to upgrade uh, to get a new ship. So I think, I mean, you need eight for that, four for that, four, three, four, six. Like, I don't know if the scout ship, the standard starship primarily used. I don't know additional upgrades will increase. So no, that doesn't upgrade a new ship. So I'm not sure how you unlock a new ship. Maybe if you have to successfully complete... Ooh, is no one going to fix that? Do we not have any guy on fixing ship things? It's evening. Evening fix ship objects. Yes. Les Sanders. Les, you're there. Why are you not fixing? Go fix it. Large group of asteroids can be seen clumped together. Investigate the asteroids, of course. After a thorough investigation, there does not appear to be anything special. Alright, well, we cleared the sector then. Let's engage FTL and we will make a jump out even further. We'll jump to the next section over. Hopefully we won't starve to death. I guess I don't actually know what will happen if uh, we lose all of our ship supplies. Unpowered ship can be seen in the distance. The ship appears to be alien in nature. Ooh, Haven't seen one looking like that before. Well, moving closer to the ship. Potting getting close to the ship. The ship appears to spring immediately to life and begin opening fire. It appears the ship was left here to trap prey. Oh boy. Well, this isn't going to end well. Everyone's going to rush towards, uh... Everyone's rushing towards their stations, which is what we need. We're definitely going to upgrade your console. I don't know. They have a whole lot of shield and a whole lot of hull. We may have lost another ship. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see that we had lost our shields completely. So yeah, this uh, this isn't going to end well. They're through our shields already. We're down to half hull. I mean, we've uh, pretty sure we've lost this one again, and we've lost the crew, which is unfortunate because I don't know what happens if we lose all of our crew members. Yeah, we're we lost this one so bad. So bad and so quick. Oof. So, alien ships? Avoid, apparently, with this. Still no next ship. Alright, well, let's continue, I guess. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hire everybody. Okay, so it did restock some. Alright, well, we need five of them, three of them. We're down to one and one. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end this episode then, after getting our butts kicked so hard twice in such a short amount of time. Uh, 
I don't know, if you know how they unlock new ships, let me know. I guess let me know without it trying to be too spoilery, possibly. Let me know what direction I need to start heading. Uh, if, you, if you enjoyed what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.